Hey everyone, Asian Sleepy here, and welcome to another collection video. Today I'd like to share my Xbox One collection with you guys. Now I have owned my uh, Xbox One since launch day last year. I had pre-ordered the console and I got the day one edition, which is awesome. I've had a lot of fun with my uh, Xbox One console uh, this past year. I've uh, rented, I've bought, and uh, played quite a few games, and uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. You know, the graphics are pretty cool. Uh, the games look amazing on the system. I also like uh, the different features on the console that are available, which is cool. The only thing that's kind of uh, annoying is uh, having to install games. That's what you have to do with this generation. Same with the PlayStation 4. And when they only give you a 500 gig hard drive, uh, it doesn't take long for you to fill it up. I'm pretty much almost maxed as it is. And so now I'm going to have to start deleting games in order to play others. And I really wish that that wouldn't be a problem. But, uh, you know, it's just something you have to deal with with this new generation. But... Still, I am enjoying it. So with that, guys, we'll get started here with the games that I own. Uh, first one I have is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, I do love the Assassin's Creed games, but uh, I have not played this one yet. Uh, my brother has it for the uh, PS4. I watched him play it, and it looked really cool. I'm still working on uh, older titles, and I want to beat them in order from uh, when they were released. So I'm working on those first, but I eventually will get to this one, and I look forward to it. It's definitely a good game, so I do recommend it. So there's the first uh, game I have. Next up, I have a copy of uh, Dead Rising 3. Now, this game is awesome. Uh, if you love zombies or if you love the other Dead Rising games, you definitely will like this one. Great game. It's really cool uh, combat. You can build weapons and stuff. You can make custom cars, which is really cool. And this was one of the launch titles for the uh, Xbox One, and this is definitely a must-own title. If you have the Xbox One and you like zombies, you definitely should get this. Great title. Next up, I have a copy of uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, I do love the Call of Duty games, but I'm not really big into the Call of Duty multiplayer. I play that once in a while. I mostly play them for the uh, campaigns, so that's what I've been working on this one. So I have to finish beating it, and then I want to go back and beat it on Veteran, but this is definitely a great game. And the multiplayer is fun, so if you like that, this is definitely a game you should pick up. Next up, a game that I just picked up recently, which was the Deluxe Edition of uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game. I've loved the uh, first two Dragon Age games. I uh, put a lot of hours into those games, but I'm actually still working on beating the second game, so I really want to beat that game first before I jump into this one. Uh, there is a cool uh, website you can go to where you can craft your world. They ask you tons of questions that you can change about what characters died, stayed alive, what happened in your old games, which can affect the world in this one. I thought that's kind of neat, so... I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing this game. It looks fun, and from some of the videos I've seen, it's awesome. So definitely going to have to recommend this one as well. Looking forward to checking that out. Next up is uh, Lego The Hobbit. Now, I absolutely love the Lego games on the consoles. I have uh, almost all of them for the 360, and now that they start releasing on Xbox One, I started picking up the Xbox One versions. But uh, I love this one. You know, I love The Hobbit. Great movies, and uh, this game is really fun. So if you like Lego games and you also like uh, The Hobbit, I recommend this one. Pretty cool. Next up is the first game I ever owned for the console. I picked this up on launch day with it, and that was uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which I love Marvel. You know, a lot of great characters. This one has over 100. You know, love Lego games, so this is another one I recommend. Uh, you guys should pick up. Great title. I also have uh, a, Le a Lego game here, the Lego Movie Video Game, which this is awesome. I love the Lego Movie Game. Uh, my girlfriend and her son did as well. And so I picked this game up for us to play, and we've had a lot of fun with this game. Another one that I recommend. Great game, especially if you love the movie. You'll like it because it follows along with the movie, and you get to control the characters, which is cool. Next up, I have uh, picked up Middle of uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This game is another awesome game. Great Lord of the Rings game. Uh, you get to um, play this badass guy who's with a who has a wraith inside him, and you can dominate. Uh, Characters has this cool nemesis system. Uh, overall, this you know great game has uh, fighting styles similar to like uh, Batman: Arkham Asylum and uh, Assassin's Creed, kind of like a combination of the two. Great game. I definitely recommend this one. I'm having a lot of fun with that one. Next up, I have uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I haven't played this one yet because I'm still working on the uh, first one on 360. But I've always loved Spider-Man games, and I'm sure this one is just as fun as the others. So that was cool. I also have a copy here of uh, Thief. This is a pretty cool game. I actually played this first on uh, PC. Uh, I haven't played on Xbox One yet, but what I did play on the PC I liked, so I wanted to get one for the Xbox One, and looking forward to checking that one out. 
Next up is a Transformers game, which I love Transformers, and uh, that is Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Had a lot of fun with this game, as I have with all the other games released, you know. Only problem is, with the games, is they're always so short, but they're very fun, you know. I do like going back and replaying through the levels, and uh, this one I definitely recommend. It's really cool. I also have a copy here of uh, Wolfenstein The New Order. Now, this game is awesome. Had a lot of fun playing. I love the Wolfenstein games, uh, and this one's cool. Because you get to go from the past and you go up to the future and you get to see what the world would be like if Nazis had taken over. And they have all kinds of new technology and stuff and it's uh, really cool. Definitely another game I recommend. And the last game I have for Xbox One, I actually have two copies of it, but this one's my sealed one. And that is Skylanders uh, Swap Force. A uh, really good game, you know, I love the Skylander series. Uh, I've played the first three, I haven't played the new one, Trap Team, but... Uh, this is another one that's great, and I do recommend it, so I'm very happy to have that. Alright guys, that's my uh, entire Xbox One collection now. You know, it isn't the uh, largest of my collections, but, you know, the Xbox One really has only been out for a year. And uh, so far, those are the titles that I've really wanted to get. Uh, I do want to get a few more, but I'm just waiting for some price drops on them. And also, uh, definitely looking forward to some more games that are coming out here in the future. You know, the first couple of years of a console's lifetime, you know, they don't have that great of titles. It's when you start getting into, like, year three and four and five is when you start getting rid of all the great titles. So, definitely looking forward to some more games for this generation. Uh, let me know if you guys have the Xbox One, you know, what games you guys have, what games you might recommend I pick up. Because uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So, leave a comment down below in the description. If you guys want to uh, connect with me, uh, you guys can check out my Facebook page. It's, uh... Facebook.com slash Asian Sleepy One. You guys can also check out my uh, website where I keep track of my collection. I'll have those links down below in the description as well. And if you guys would like to uh, play games with me, uh, I'll have my gamer tags down below for my different consoles I play on. But for uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, it is uh, Asian Sleepy, and there is a space between Asian and Sleepy. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care, have a great day, and sleep. We'll see you guys next time.